Welcome to Nether by the Day 6. I've received the mystical download through the twisting nether of what today's workout is. And it's going to be a good one. Um, of course they all are, but uh, one thing at a time, right? Today, we're going to be again supersetting, although it's going to be a little different this time. We're going to be doing one exercise with lightweight and higher reps. And we're going to be doing another exercise with heavy weight and lower reps. Um, now, what I'm going to be supersetting back and forth between is uh, push-ups and Yates rows. And the Yates rows I encourage all of you to do today. As far as the push-ups, you can swap it out for bench uh, or some other pressing variation, whatever you want to do. In other words, we're finishing our chest training today. Yesterday we only did upper chest. So today we're going to finish off hitting the rest of our chest better. Uh, for me that's going to mean a bunch of sets of push-ups because I haven't done push-ups in forever so no doubt it's going to shock my chest muscles. Uh, plus the core training, having to do all those push-ups, you know. Um, some extra core training thrown in doesn't hurt. And for those of you guys who are uh, neck size enthusiasts, the way we're going to be doing Yates rows today, and this is a little something that I kind of added on to it, um, it's going to actually involve some neck training for the front of our neck, pushing forward really hard, like pushing uh, that way, okay? I don't even know the name of all the neck muscles or whatever, but you'll see what we're doing. It's going to assist with the way we're going to be doing Yates rows. Now, Yates rows. Why are we using Yates rows today instead of nether rows, let's say? Well, because today's going to be bicep day as well. And Yates rows are a great way to train biceps, as well as pretty much the entirety of your whole back. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the inventor himself, Dorian Yates, right, invented an, uh, an improved version of a row where you could row heavier so he could get a thicker back. Um, but also, when done with an underhand grip, it's really a heavy bicep exercise. Before Dorian Yates tore his own bicep off doing his own exercise that he invented, it was doing a lot to bring up his biceps as well as his back. The fact that he tore his bicep off <laughs> has to do with the fact that it's a hell of a lot of weight. You can pull a lot of weight with your biceps on Yates rows, okay? So your job today is to use your back and biceps together because we're going to be going heavy, we're going to pyramid up, and we're going to go heavy and low rep. Okay, now heavy is a relative term. I'm not telling you to lift something too heavy for you and injure yourself. I just mean heavy enough that it's challenging and it's low rep, okay? <clears throat> Pyramid up, warm up, don't hurt yourself, okay? Uh, Dorian actually quit doing Yates rows with an underhand grip after he tore his bicep off, probably because his bicep never healed strong enough to go back to that and he didn't want to have the same experience twice. Uh, he went to doing it overhanded after that, which is another great way to do it, but it's not a bicep exercise really when you do it that way. And today we are training chest, back, and biceps, and some neck. And for those of you doing the push-ups with me, abs as well, okay? <laughs> a lot of stuff we're hitting here. So once I get going, I'm just going to be banging out sets of push-ups pretty quickly and pyramiding up on the weight on the eighths rows. So watch the form on the eighths rows. It's not too complicated. It's just a more upright stance to do a row, and you have an underhand grip, okay? And as you row the weight up, you stay close to your body. Almost like a, like a drag curl, for those of you who know about drag curls. The difference is you're not going to be standing up just curling. You're going to be bent over rowing and curling at the same time. But, uh, yeah, if you apply yourself, you should be able to dig into biceps big time and forearms as well as the entire back. It's, uh, it's an awesome exercise and I'm going to demonstrate it for 20 sets for you guys, all right? 20 sets of each. All right, enough talk. Off to work we go. May the force be with us.
upstairs, please, son. So he's doing a video. Please go upstairs, buddy. Thank you. Go upstairs, son, please. 